Hi everyone, welcome back to Struggle Security, where we're normalizing struggling in cybersecurity. Here, I help you navigate the challenges and opportunities within the field while sharing insights and personal experiences. Today, we're diving into my predictions for cybersecurity industry in 2025. From the growing influence of AI to shifts in hiring trends and vendor security, this video has a lot to cover. And before I jump in, I'm going to give a big shout out to our sponsor, Springboard. If you're looking to break into cybersecurity industry or level up your skills, Springboard Cybersecurity Bootcamp is great for mentorship, real world projects, and really helping you to jump into the field. So stay tuned for more about Springboard into the video. Okay, let's start off with prediction one, AI's growing role in cybersecurity. The first prediction is about AI, and I believe that it's going to have a monumental impact on the field. AI is becoming increasingly integrated into both cyber defenses and offenses, right? The good guys and the bad guys. On the adversary side, attackers are already leveraging AI for social engineering campaigns, making phishing attacks more sophisticated and targeted, and the utilization of deep fakes, audio, and video to spread misinformation and erode public trust to accomplish a lot of these malicious goals. We're all seeing AI deploy in a large scale for APT campaigns where attackers use machine learning and also are utilizing it to, to, to increase their abilities to attack and find vulnerabilities in their targets. A notable example of this is the North Korean threat actor deeply employing deep fake technology in their cyber operations, particularly to impersonate IT professionals. In July, 2024, a cyber firm known as no before inadvertently hired an individual who used a deep fake platform their photo stolen photos and photo, stolen identities of a u.s citizen and they use this in order to get hired for a job i mean this incident highlights a sophistication of ai generated images in order to deceive employers and eventually get into organizations but you know it's not all doom and gloom Cyber defenders are also harnessing the power of AI to predict and identify malicious activity. With the explosion of data sources, right? You're getting cloud data, you're getting Windows event data, you're getting firewall data, networking data. AI can dramatically reduce the time it takes in order to analyze and to be able to identify anomalous behaviors or activities within a lot of these multiple data sources. I mean, imagine a future where there's a SIM tool that integrates with AI to highlight specific patterns and prioritize alerts, saving hours and hours of an analyst or a SOC 1 analyst analysis time, right? Hours and hours of work, I'm sure. And to support this point, I want to share a quick clip from Dan Scapia. I'm sorry if I say your name wrong, but he's a chief product officer at Arctic Wolf, and he shares some of his insights about AI's impact on cybersecurity. So the AI hype is certainly reaching its pinnacle today. And I think we will start to see it become a reality next year. I think part of the challenge we saw in 2024 is companies frantically trying to figure out what they're gonna do with AI. And I think a lot of things were, were failures, frankly, because they didn't search for a problem and then find how AI can help solve the problem. They just had AI and they ran around looking what to do with it. I think in security, there's ample problems that AI can, can start to impact, but I think the adversaries are gonna be the ones who are gonna use it the most aggressively. They have problems trying to break certain defenses that AI can help them with. One of them is the human risk factor. How can I trick humans into doing things they shouldn't otherwise do? Others are gonna be, how can I find exploits by using AI to, to hunt down zero day exploits as opposed to human beings trying to do that. We're gonna see a massive advancement and all the basic things adversaries do today, but AI is gonna be rocket fuel to that. So we're gonna see that come from the adversarial perspective Perspective. And then on the defensive side, you know, our industry has been using AI for a long time. We're not new to AI. We're probably one of the industries that embraced it most aggressively. But things like Gen AI are going to really pop in, in how security operators and also customers uh, can interface with security, particularly customers who maybe don't have the security expertise. They can use AI to help with that. But we're going to use AI deeply in trying to find attacks that no one else can find, trying to defend against other AI based attacks. So it's really a, a, an arm race, but now it's like a nuclear arms race uh, with with AI and the adversarial side as well as the defensive side. So I, I think 2025, we're going to start to see it really have some big impacts on both sides. Really, to round out this point or this prediction, AI is no longer just a buzzword. It's reshaping the way that we think and act in cybersecurity. Prediction two, shifting hiring trends in cybersecurity. 
My second prediction is around the job market that we know is crazy within tech. As the demand for cybersecurity professionals grow, I believe that 2025 will bring about organizations softening their traditional degree requirements even more than previous. I mean, there are so many different defenders that are needed in order to defend against today's emerging threats that I think that you need to that organizations are going to need to soften a lot of those degree requirements um, in order to get into these roles. We're already seeing a shift towards skill based hiring. You know, employers are looking for candidates who can prove their abilities through certifications, practical experience and hands on assessments. This change is driven by the urgent need to fill the talent gaps in the industry to defend against today's emerging threats, like I said previously. On that note, boot camps like Springboards are at the forefront of this trend. If you're ready to launch your cybersecurity career, Springboards Bootcamp offers personalized membership, project-based learning, certification training, and a job guarantee clause to help you succeed in the field. Click the link in the description section to use the exclusive code STRUGGLESEC2025 to get previously was $1,000, but now to get $2,000 off and allows you access to a free artificial intelligence course. This is your chance to kickstart your journey into cybersecurity with Springboard with an additional boost of artificial intelligence learning. Okay, looking forward to you joining the ranks of cybersecurity by utilizing Springboard. My third prediction is about the growing scrutiny vendors will face in 2025 in the realm of cybersecurity. You know, organizations are becoming more cautious about introducing third party vendor products and services into their environments. Why? Because threat actors are increasingly exploiting vulnerabilities in vendor products who might be more concerned about selling a product than actually securing the product against unwanted cyber attacks. I mean, take Volt Typhoon, for example, a well-known advanced persistent threat group targeting U.S. critical infrastructure. This group has been seen to exploit weaknesses in commonly used networking devices, such as routers and switches, to gain unauthorized access into organizations' data systems. These attacks have shown how prioritizing functionality over scrutiny can have devastating consequences. I mean, even in 2025, I expect organizations to implement stricter cybersecurity requirements for vendors and contractors. This includes conducting security assessments and demanding more and more transparency into how products are developed and secured. I think this shift is not only uh, to protect enterprises and organizations, but also to push vendors to innovate and prioritize security from the ground up. I mean, playing a little bit of inside baseball in my role as a as a cybersecurity director. I mean, I've been seeing so many different organizations requiring so much more from my organization before we are able to execute services and sign contracts. So this is coming. This is coming more and more scrutiny on vendors. So these are my predictions for 2025. And to wrap them up, these are my big three. The infusion of artificial intelligence into cybersecurity for both attackers and defenders. I think we're going to see more and more of that. A continued shift towards skill based hiring with boot camps like Springboard leading the charge. And three, increased scrutiny on vendors to ensure their products meet the robust cybersecurity standards of the organizations they serve. The cybersecurity landscape is evolving rapidly, and these changes are reshaping how we approach defense, hiring, and technology adoption. What do you think about these predictions? Let me know in the comment sections. And if you're ready to take the next step into your cybersecurity journey, don't forget to check out Springboard using the link in the description section. Their bootcamp could be perfect opportunity for you to jumpstart your career in this dynamic field. Again, thank you. Thank you for watching this channel, Struggle Security, where we are normalizing struggling in cybersecurity. Until next time. You know, hopefully this has alleviated one of your struggles. And if you have more questions or concerns, feel free to put them down there in the description section. And we can continue the discussion in the comments. All right. Until next time. See you later.